In my book, The Secret Power of Middle Children, I really focus a lot on some surprising uh, skills and abilities that middle children have that people often overlook. One of them is that they're amazing negotiators and, and people often don't think about where negotiating comes from and where an understanding of what traits that make up negotiating come from. But in fact, one of the problems that middle children face in the family is having their needs sort of being squeezed amongst the needs of the older child and the younger child. So you have an, an older child who needs to go to lessons and, and parents are focused on taking them where they need to go. You have a baby of the family who, when they don't get what they want, go crying to mommy or daddy. And the middle child really is stuck in a position where they need to be able to negotiate for what they need and what they want in the family. And so they become very good at figuring out what other people want and need and finding ways to get what they need while the other person is also getting what they want. And so this skill leads to great abilities in terms of negotiating in the business world. Donald Trump is a very well-known middle child, but also in terms of politics and people like Anwar Sadat famous politician and Nobel Prize winner was also a middle child who's very good at seeing what the other side needed and yet still being able to sort of work for what he desired for his side. Another skill that people often uh, don't think about um, or ability that other people don't think about is the trailblazing nature of middle children. Um, middle children are very open to experience and they're pretty high in risk-taking and rebelliousness. And these, particularly, these particular personality traits serve them really well in terms of leading to innovations. They're often willing to think outside the box and approach uh, problems in new and different ways. And so you can think of people like Bill Gates, for example, um, or Michael Dell, who really led innovations in computer technology as thinking differently about problems than many other individuals uh, do. And then the other aspect that I really tried to highlight about middle children is their care and attention to the issues surrounding justice. Uh, we refer to middle children sometimes as justice seekers. One of the things that they experience in the family is sort of being the underdog or not getting as much attention. And I think that, that the emotional consequences of that for them are that they tend to be very high in empathy. They tend to sympathize with the underdog, sympathize with the person who's not the focus of all of the attention uh, and all of the privileges. And so many um, individuals who are middle children often are very sympathetic to the problems of others and often work very hard in the cause of other people's um, problems. Well, it does it in a number of different ways. Um, the way that I could sort of conceive of the effect of birth order on personality is to look at how it affects first, middles, and last born children in a family. Um, when we look at personality, it really is a strategy for how you approach problems that you face in your daily life. And one of the things that, that influences, well, there's two really two things that influence personality. One is genetics, and the other is the environment that you grow up in. And when you think about it, the biggest impact in terms of the environment you grew up in is the family. And we used to think that, that the family was, the, was sort of uniform for all children, but it's really not because different children experience that family environment very differently and are often treated quite differently by their parents. So firstborns are given more responsibility, there are often higher expectations placed on them, and so that shapes their personality in certain ways, makes them more conforming to authority, makes them often more driven, unfortunately sometimes makes them a little bit more neurotic, but it has that particular impact on shaping their personalities. If you look at the baby of the family, responsibility is not something that they're often loaded down with. They're given a lot more freedom, but in some ways they're also uh, have a lot more, uh, in a sense, it's more than just the freedom, it's almost a lack of responsibility. So they're not given tasks to accomplish. So they often struggle to find um, a sense of responsibility and to really grow up in some ways. Middle children, on the other hand, tend not to get a lot of attention from their parents. They tend to be squeezed between the demands of the first and then the demands of the baby. As a result, they tend to become very independent and very self-sufficient, although they also sometimes have less close relationships with their parents because of that. And so in terms of their personality, they tend to be quite outgoing, quite friend-oriented, quite independent, and very open to experience. 